September 21st, there will be an event that will be out of this world. It's the Great Conjunction, but what is it? Well, let's turn to the man who knows. <laughs> Paul Lewis with the UT Space Science Outreach in the big <laughs> monitor today. We get to see him live. First of all, it's great to see you, buddy. I hope it's, everybody's doing good. You doing okay? It's great to be seen, and it's good to see you guys, too. It's been a long time. Glad to have you on our weather porch Thanks. for sure. So, all right, tell us about this big event. Well, we got a couple of things going on. If we can do the first slide, we're going to have a meteor shower Sunday night into Monday morning. Uh, and I'm holding a bag, I don't know if you can zoom in on it, uh, that's got rice and grits and little wow. bits of candy in here. Hmm. This is the size stuff that's going to make the meteors in the sky on Sunday night into Monday morning. It's called the Geminids, and it's one of only two meteor showers, the source for which is an asteroid. Uh, so it's a, it's a really neat event. It's probably the biggest shower of the year because yeah. we could see as many as 120 meteors per hour. There we go. I think you can see uh, what Jim and I in the middle with that purple background behind it. That's where they will appear to come from. Uh, and it arises before, well, just after sunset, actually. So it'll be in the sky all night. And uh, you should have an oppor uh, opportunity to catch some of these guys. And, of course, if the weather holds, we'll be able to see them. Yeah, a lot of things to see during this event. Point, yes. point several out for us. Well, the the if we go to the next slide, that is a picture of, uh, back up one if we could, that was a picture of Jupiter and Saturn right together on the 21st of December. Uh, there you go. And uh, they will be virtually on top of each other. And let me clarify something. They are not together in reality. Saturn's another 400 million miles further behind Jupiter. They'll just make an appearance as if they have come together to form one bright object. And this happens every 19.6 years. The thing about it is, is it's not always well positioned for us to be able to see it. Uh, this particular one is. And so on the evening of the 21st, if you go out and look where you've seen Jupiter and Saturn clo uh, closing in on each other over the last several months, they finally come together and they appear slightly elongated on the night of the 21st. If you've got a pair of binoculars, it's the best way to view them because the binocular will split the two planets. And you might even be able to see the Galilean satellites of Jupiter, those four moons. I think uh, Ganymede may actually be in front of Jupiter, so you should see three of the Galilean satellites. Uh, the last time we saw one that looked like this was 1620, I think it was three. And the next time we see another one like that, that's a telescope magnified view right there, uh, will be in the year 2417. Now they happen about every 20 years, but it depends on how close they are together. And the one that's coming up is really unique because it's very, very, very close. Those are rare. So you want to get outside and see if you can't see that and follow it the week before and the week after and watch them separate again. And this thing sitting in front of me is something that happens on the same day, the 21st, we have the winter solstice. And on the winter solstice, you have the shortest day, the longest night, Earth's northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, so we are seeing much longer shadows on that day. And at local noon, the sun will be at its lowest position in the sky for the entire year. Uh, and um, that's just one more thing to have to do, isn't it? <laughs> well, I tell you. Wow. It's going to be entertaining for sure. Paul Lewis, thank you so much. The My great pleasure. explanations. Love seeing you on our weather porch. Thanks for spending some time with us on this Friday afternoon. Thanks, guys. Glad to do it always.